New life on Tyneside. The Goodison faithful are having to adapt to life without him. Phil Edwards was at Charlton yesterday to see Everton's first game without their enigmatic number nine. Everton arrived at the Valley in search of only their third away win of the season, minus, of course, the player who'd been there, talisman and top scorer Duncan Ferguson. A harsh reality that some fans had still to come to terms with. I'm gutted. I've, I've had like two hours sleep for three days. I'm so gutted. I couldn't believe it. Have you got over the shock yet? No, I don't think so yet. But a win, a win today might do us uh, a world of good. And so it was to be, thanks to 19-year-old Danny Kadamatri, who set Everton on their way in first-half injury time, showing the sort of pace and finishing he's becoming renowned for. Beating a charging Sasa Illich to a long through ball, leaving the Charlton keeper high and dry, and calmly putting the visitors ahead. It's a good ball over, over the top by Michael Ball, and I managed to get in between the defender and the, uh, the keeper, and just, just knock it past him and just side foot in, really. And, um, you know, the managers kept the same team, uh, and we've come out today and we've battled hard and have been fortunate enough to get on the score sheet. Everton should have been two up early in the second when the other half of their exciting young strike force, Ibrahima Bakayoko, was felled in the penalty area. But Michael Ball, who'd scored a penalty to secure victory over Newcastle on Monday, this time misplaced a poor effort, and Illich had made amends for his earlier mistake. Charlton poured men forward and were rewarded with an equaliser 18 minutes from time. How about that for a strike from Mark Kinsella? But within a minute, Everton had restored their lead, Kedamatri getting his second of the match. The England under-21, who came up to the Goodison ranks, making sure Everton left the valley with a priceless victory. And after a torrid week, the manager could at least celebrate six points in as many days. You know, Duncan was a big part uh, of Everton over the past few seasons, and the players themselves have had to um, uh, adjust to, to losing him. And uh, he got two goals at Newcastle today, so mm. uh, you know they've got a benefit from him. But uh, as I said to our younger players, it does give them the opportunity to come in and show what they can do. They, they want to play, um, and although they're only uh, 19, in Kadamatri's case, uh, Bakayoko only 21. Um, you know, they want to do well. You've just had a very long chat in your office with Walter Smith. You can tell me it's none of my business, of course, but you know, what were you talking about? <laughs> well, I was talking about one or two things, pressures of uh, management here as opposed to Scotland, and uh, we had quite a laugh, you know, one or two things come up. He's a good guy, Walter. He's, he's a very solid man, and uh, I think that uh, the things that went on at Everton last week would have upset him. Uh, there was no need for it, I think, and... Uh, you know, if, you, if you're working together, there's no need for that sort of thing to happen. And, uh, yeah, but they've gone and got two results, which will soften the blow, I think. So a new era without Duncan Ferguson begins well for Everton. £7 million richer for having sold their former captain. They played an exciting passing game at speed and saw a young talent who cost them nothing secure a morale-boosting away win. Phil Edwards, Sky Sports.